Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And in this video, I have a special guest replay featuring Professor Foodie. Um, he's got his own YouTube channel, which I'll put a link in the description below. Um, his channel's uh, Tanking with Foodie. And this replay is very old replay, and it is in the HMH M51 Super Sherman. So this is a tier eight premium uh, French medium tank. Uh, it's been out for quite a while now. Uh, I've actually got the tank, but I, do you know what? I've never played it. Um, and I probably should, to be fair, uh, just to see what it's like. But um, but yeah, just you know, this tank, it's 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 an old, it's kind of mediocre, I think, personally. From you know, just sort of um, looking at it stats wise from what I've seen I mean you have got really good gun depression the gun does slap as well it's got 390 alpha which is pretty decent um, for a medium tank but uh, it's the you know, drawbacks to this tank it is it just doesn't have any armor at all uh, and the long reload can catch out a little bit sometimes um, the camouflage you know camos meh um, and yeah it, it's just the, the, the view range is not too bad, but uh, yeah, so it's okay, pretty decent, I guess, for tier eight. Um, but yeah, the, 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 I don't know, it's it's a hard one to judge, really. But uh, but anyway, you know, we we're going to look at this replay here that uh, Foodie has sent in for us, and he's playing Overlord. Now, obviously, as I've just mentioned, this is a very old video. This is actually sort of before quite a few updates came in. Um, yeah, we don't have the RT targeting system. I think we noticed the uh, sounds are a little bit different as well. Um, also, you didn't see the GTs listed um, on the uh, on the menu. So sort of when you're looking at the you know, our side and the opposing side. So yeah, but um, so yeah, quite an old video. But we, we're going to see how Foodie gets on here. Um, and he's come to the right hand side here, which is a bit of the brawling. Uh, zone, so I was quite surprised, but you know, this being Overlord's a bit of a weird map. Um, he's not playing beach, so I guess that's a bonus. Uh, I, I would never ever sort of rate going beach um, at all, really, to be fair. I think you know, the, the majority of the battle should sort of take place on the high ground here. Um, it's nothing to say you can't go beach, but I just think you know, it's at a disadvantage because. You know, whatever way you've got to come up to the high ground to get the fight. Obviously, the tanks in the high ground are going to have the advantage anyway, and they'll just catch you out as you're coming up. But, uh, that's you know, that's just my that's my opinion. It's my preference. Let's say some people will have good games on the beach, others won't. But <coughs> there we go. Um, apologies, guys, if I sound a bit rough. I've got a bit of a cold, so. Um, do apologise if I sound like death warmed up. Um, but anyway, we Foodie's sort of it's, it's had a bit of a it's, it's a bit of a slow start. He's just backing off here. Um, you can see a lot of the enemy are sort of behind the ridge, but they're gradually pushing the right hand side now. So he's got round to some cover where he can sort of pull back and get safe. Um, which is a good idea. He's got the side of this inferno now. Unfortunately, had a lucky bounce, uh, unlucky bounce. Does manage to get the kill shot in there. And now he's going to turn his attention to our tanks that are crossing. See this Draymond crossing? Gets a lovely shot for the fire there. Um, Artillery is now sort of trying to take a few shots in. <coughs> um, but luckily, only does a minor bit of splash damage. Gets another shot into the engine of the Dreadnought there. Um, he's put that Dreadnought now down to a one shot. Um, he's backing off here again, and we see this medium tank is now in play as well. Uh, he gets rid of the Dreadnought, does take a shot from the Barask there that's gone um, rushing him. But taking out that Dreadnought was, was a good move because that is a dangerous tank and that will hurt as well if it is this tank. Because, like I said, it has no armor. Gets another shot in there to um, take out the Panther. Um, and yeah, now he's just sort of backing off a little bit. Just trying to get behind this building because you can notice there's sort of, yeah, uh, <coughs> tank destroyer to his left, which has uh, overpeaked there. It's an iron range, it's overpeaked, and he's sort of paid the price for it. 
Foodie managed to get a shot, and how this KV2 was, well, we thought was looking at him, actually takes a shot at a tank behind. Um, Foodie unfortunately bounces the shot off of the KV2's turret, but he's closing the distance here. So try and aim his shot here. Um, and does manage to get a shot in there, putting KV2 down to a one shot. He's going to back off now and let this defender take uh, the damage, which is uh, fair enough. Defender's got more armor, so uh, he can uh, get, deal with that. Brask comes yellowing in. He manages to get a good crack shot into the Brask. Uh, <coughs> I'm not, in sure, not entirely sure what Brask is doing. Um, just doing Brask things, I guess, yellowing in. Um, he manages to take out that Brask, which is, you know, again, um, a really good play there, smart, get the Brask out because that is going to be a dangerous tank, particularly coming up to end gameplay. Um, he's now got the right tank on the left hand side for Brask, he did take a snapshot there, <coughs> but unfortunately the shell misses. And um, he's just going to try, I think, and well, he's just, he's just getting, you know, using this dead wreckers cover, which is, uh, again, clever play. Um, not got yeah he's got sort of 332 hit points so um he could easily get clipped out by this vanguard here um if this vanguard plays smart there's only uh himself and two heavy tanks left so try and see if he can get a shot into that vanguard he does put that van vanguard down to one shot again <coughs> another tank that's that's going to be quite dangerous if left alive so again foodie's made the right play now he sees his TNH that's uh, just peaked up near the windmill there. Gets a shot into the TNH, taking him out. The, uh, the the two heavy tanks dealt with the Vanguard. And now Foodie, all he has left is the artillery. Makes the right call by switching to the HG. And now he's going to sort of press on ahead. And... <coughs> Pardon me should be able to get the spots on the artillery hopefully fingers crossed um he's way ahead of the heavy tanks so can't see why not here and it's just on the crest of the ridge um only be a matter of time before the artilleries are spotted unless they are on the beach but there we go sees the hummel hummel's come around but he absolutely batters that hummel Remember, this is uh, <coughs> this is pre RT buff, so this is when artillery was, you know, its health was back down, you know, you know before the health buffs, basically. So um, things like that, Hummel would be a complete one shot, probably a one shot on the standard rounds, let alone HE. But the fact he's got HE, which is 480 alpha, means he's easily going to deal with uh, tier six artillery. And there we go, all that's left is the Lorraine, which he easily takes out and brings an end to the video. So there we go, nice decent game there from Foodie. And uh, yeah, manages to get the win. Gums top of the board there with 6 kills, <coughs> just over 4,000 damage. And gets uh, 865 assistance, just a little bit there. Um, Nice silver return as well, which is decent for him. So, yeah, good battle all around there. Picks up the ace tanker, gets the Pascucci medal, which is always nice. The high caliber and the top gun. And, yeah, there we go. Leads him uh, quite top of the board there. He put in an, you know, putting a really good shift there to win the game. So, credit to Foodie. So, thanks to Foodie for sending in the replay. Uh, like I say, go and check out his channel. Um... He does have a number of replays on there with some good games. Um, doesn't do commentary, but please go and check him out all the same because he does have some really good videos on there. So, um, yeah, give him some support, guys. And, uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you next time.